6'9", the Tennessee stud Ron Fuller. Uh, Mr. Fuller was asked to wrestle on today's program, but uh, you have informed the promotion of Southeastern Wrestling that you do not uh, wrestle on television. And, uh, am I correct in this? That is exactly right. Not only do I not wrestle on television, I had them empty this studio. I don't even want to talk with anybody behind me jeering, making any remarks. I want those people out there at home to hear the stud. Listen to what I'm saying. That's right. Bring that camera in here a little bit closer. Come on, bring it in. All you women sitting at home, you ain't dreaming. You seeing me live and in living color, the prettiest thing that's been on your television set ever, ever. You looking at the biggest man, the baddest man that ever been in the state of Alabama. Six feet, nine inches tall, 265 pounds, and daddy, I can do it. And we, you know. we have some videotape we'd like Wait. to review of Terry Funk and Harley Race in a world I'm not finished. I'm not finished. If you don't mind, I want to tell these people something about myself before we see this film. I want to tell these people something about the man they are looking at. First of all, you're looking at the man that was the youngest man in history to win the Georgia Heavyweight Championship. The youngest man in history to win the Florida Heavyweight Championship. The youngest man in history to win the Southern Heavyweight Championship. The youngest man ever to win the Southeastern Championship. And the man that is destined to be your next world's heavyweight champion. Now, I'm not concerned about this film you are talking about. I'm concerned about you people out there. I want all you rednecks to get up out of your chair right now and walk over to where the calendar is on the wall, right? And I want you to take a pencil out of that old shift row or whatever it is next to that calendar, and I want you to mark a big circle around this date because today, ladies and gentlemen, is a red letter day for wrestling in the state of Alabama for one reason, because the stud has arrived. That's right, I am here, I'm going places, and wrestling is going places. It ain't like nothing you've seen before, believe it. Believe what I'm telling you, I'm the baddest that's ever been. I'm going to take care. I hear them talking about this tournament. I'm here to be the Alabama champion, and I am here to be the champion of you people. Now, I know you're out there watching. I know right now you're saying to yourself, Mom, ain't he something? Look how big and bad he is. Ain't he something? Well, you're right, Grandpa. He is something. And when you come down and pay your money, I will not be wrestling here for free. When you pay your money, you're going to see the wrestlingest machine that has ever been in this country and this world. I've been all over the world, everywhere. I've been to Australia. I've been in the Bahamas. I've been to Mexico. I've wrestled in Canada. I've wrestled in Japan. You name it, I've been there. I've beaten them all. Six feet, nine inches tall, like I said, 265 pounds. And if I ain't bad, there ain't a bad man around, and I cannot be had. I'm telling you people, mark the calendar just like I tell you. Put that big circle around the date, because today is a red-letter day for wrestling in the state of Alabama for one simple reason. Charlie Platt, is that the name, Platt? Yes, sir. For one simple reason, Charlie Platt, the stud is here. Simple as that. And uh, the Tennessee stud, uh, we have uh, that uh, video I'm not interested in that tape right now. Don't worry about the tape. I got a few more things I'd like to say. First of all, I know this show is seen throughout the state of Alabama. And I have wrestled in parts of the state of Alabama. But the northern area, Birmingham, Florence, Huntsville, Tuscaloosa, and so many little... I don't know the names of all the towns. Some of them are very rinky-dink, but I'm going to be the champion. You people, you're going to be looking at this face, and you're going to be saying, now there is truly a man. Because, you mark my words, you are looking at a man that is truly a man. The Tennessee Stud. You will learn that name. You will remember it. Because, ladies and gentlemen, what you are looking at now is going to be wrestling in the future for you. All of it based around the finest, finest looking man that you women out there have ever seen and the baddest man that you men out there have always dreamed of being something just like the stud. Now you can cut away to that film if you want to. Uh, wait. Our director says, I think you've elaborated long enough. Uh, we have no time to run that film now. <laughs>